right, I want to do a quick little video here of how I separate my zinc pennies from my copper pennies. So I just made this little wooden stand, bent some uh, sheet metal, and what you do is put some really strong magnets on the side here and on the back side there. And you gotta play with them a little bit. You gotta adjust them a little bit back and forth. And then you set up these two little trays. When the copper penny goes by this, it has a little bit of a magnet pull, just a little bit, and it slows it down and it'll drop the copper first and then it'll zinc will fly farther. And then I'll show you here, we got a couple Wheaties, uh, what is that, 69, and some shield pennies. So I'll run a shield penny in there, and you'll see that it should jump into the zinc bucket. Then we'll run the weedy. Hard to do this with one hand. Drops off into that bucket. We'll do the 1969. Drops off in that bucket. We'll do another shield penny. Drops off into that bucket. And you can do them a little bit faster too. So it'll be a wee penny and then a shield penny. So there you go. And it works really good. If I could just come up with some way to make a hopper up here, you know, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking a handful of pennies and just, you know, feed them in. <laughs> and it, it works out really well. You don't have to look at the dates. So if you're somebody that, you know, are not looking for all the dates and making a set or whatever, you can just run these. Separate your copper from your zinc. So far, all zinc. Get a little deeper in there, see if we can't find some copper. That's going to be a zinc. There was a copper. Okay. So we went through not quite half the bag yet, just to give you an idea. Look how many zinc compared to copper. Um, and why would you do this? Well, this penny right here is 99% zinc. Probably not even worth a penny. This penny right here is 95% copper. Worth three cents today. And what is today? May 18th. So it's worth three cents in the copper. So why not separate them? I like hoarding copper, so it's just another way. I own the pennies, they're mine, so you know, what the heck. But, uh, and if you wanna search them, so now you know if you want any, there could be some 81s. There's a there's a 81 in there that's zinc and copper. But quick correction, not 81, 82. And I just found this out because I saw an 82 go through. And I thought it was pretty shiny, and I thought it should went should have went into the zinc pile. So I picked it back up and looked. Sorry about the shadowing. but So there's an 82, and I believe that's a large date, which is copper. Here is an 82. That's a small date. I could be wrong on that, but that looks small to me. The other one looks bigger, but watch what happens. So here's the 82 small date. I'll run it through. I put that there so it wouldn't, I wouldn't lose it. Okay. 82 small date. 82 large date. There you go. So that is it. So just a little correction there. It's not 81. 81 and back is for sure copper. It's the 82 that has a large and small date. One was copper and one was zinc. Pretty much, you know, all these are going to be 82 and above, and all these are going to be 82 and or 81 and lower. So that helps you actually search too. So you know, if you're filling a book, you can just go right to your copper bin, and you know what your dates are going to be. So I just wanted to share that, and you can see the ratio. Look how much zinc compared to copper. Empty. All the copper and all of the zinc. Not a bad little haul. I think I might do a video where I just go buy a box of pennies from the bank and do them and then give you guys the ratio. You know, copper to zinc, what you get. You probably have to do probably five boxes to get it like an average, but it's going to vary in everybody's state anyways. So there you go. That's how it works. Thanks for watching.